Sean and I decided to split up. Probably not the smartest idea. Mike and I bought the house April 29th of 2022. My stepdad owned the house and he had evicted the people that lived here. House just kind of sat here. I had never been inside the house at that point. We kind of came in and checked it out and there was noise downstairs. And when we were outside talking about it, my stepdad overheard what we were talking about and he was like, see, I told you that house was haunted. Well, that's when we learned that his ex-girlfriend had uh, committed suicide, January 1st, 92. K2s and REM pods would go off a lot. We could be in one part of the house and hear thuds and doors shut on other ends of the house. So we seem to get pretty accurate responses when asking questions. The house was built in 1910 by Robert C. Davies. Uh, the plaque on the door says 1920, so we're not 100% sure what that actually correlates to. Uh, he and his wife had four kids. Two of the children we know for sure lived in the house. The wakes were here for Mr. Davies and two of the kids, which was common in the era. They all seemed to pass away from GI or intestinal type issues, except for the wife. We get a lot of response with them. Deb Snyder committed January 1st, 1992. I believe 5.30 in the afternoon is when that was confirmed. She had stuff from the pipes, so it's a metal pipe halfway up and then it's PVC. So she was supposedly abused by her dad, who passed away when she was 11. So when she hopped off in the basement, they buried her with her dad. A little bit of witchcraft upstairs, a little bit of hard partying downstairs, a couple ODs. There's just a lot in the 110 years that this house has been here. One of our first investigations, an investigator had a bottle of water. She took the lid off the bottle and the lid popped her in the eye. That same night, another investigator had put her drink down in the same living room and couldn't find it at the end of the night. It's on the floorboard of the truck. The hallway in the bathroom area has a lot of shadow figure, just like somebody's kind of peeping around watching you, kind of feeling Rita's room, which is going to be the far bedroom. She was confined by her husband. Actually, here in the last month or so, we've gotten screams, a lot of banging, the blinds being ruffled. We put the uh, plasma ball in there, and my son gets yes and no responses from how they touch the plasma ball. Down in the basement, there's a pretty negative energy. Change the temperature dramatically. Likes to pull on your pant legs, tug on your shorts. Um, we've had two confirmed scratches down there. The one scratch we actually watched form. We've heard laughing, distant laughing, growls down there. A couple people have said they've seen red eyes. They kind of like to play peekaboo. So while you're sitting up there doing a session, it's almost like they're creeping up the steps to kind of see what you're doing. If you're in the back room, we call it the boom boom room with the hot tub. You can actually hear the walking across the floor. They've jiggled the doorknob, turned the doorknob. Monica was leaving the relationship. She was supposed to be moving out and she would open portals, create portals and invite things in. She didn't ask anything to leave. She's still alive, so anything in here she's created. So it's not anything from her passing or anything like that. She is certifiably schizophrenic right now. She was performing magic with her crystal ball, had the mirrors all lined up. It just felt real negative. Felt like we were gonna be bum rushed by like an army or something. Felt like something was just here trying to make us leave. Like it was gonna rush us if we came any further. Mike was a little bit different, so we had to come back in. It was like something tried to attach to him. So we had to come back in until it had to stay. She heard a scream in Rita's room, kind of startled her a little bit and then heard a loud crash. So she called her husband and thought maybe somebody's at the back bedroom. They hadn't been in that room yet. Here lately, the biggest thing is that the thuds and the noises, the thumps are so loud. They think there's people in here and they're like, 
do we call the police? We just didn't call the police. There's nobody on the cameras. There's nobody in here but us. So what are we going to tell them? And one of his team members, Josh, said that he, they have a picture and it's got like a skeletal type being behind them. So when he told us to remove everything out of the house because he was selling it, we had some mirrors upstairs. I didn't really want the mirrors on my property. I didn't want bad karma there. So we threw them out on the side of the road on the way home. So when we got possession of the house, we're cleaning the garage out a few months later for open house for graduation party. And there's a mirror, looks just identical to the one upstairs that we threw out. So we brought it back. When you go upstairs, you're in a big open room and then like a hallway with a bathroom. And so supposedly she would put one mirror there and then one mirror on the back wall of the back bedroom and create like a doorway. I don't think she wanted the relationship to end. I don't think she wanted to move out. So I think it was a revengeful tactic. I think there's a whole lot in this house, but I think there's actually been more brought into this house. I don't know if Monica brought them in or if other people have brought them in, but over the years that I've been investigating, the house changes. Right now, Rita's room seems to be the hot spot. She was murdered by her husband number seven. Notice a change in my behavior, my attitude and everything, and I'll, nope, I'm not investigating this month, and I will just totally stay away. My son actually had a um, doppelganger feel something coming up behind me. So I kind of turned to look to make sure it's who it's supposed to be. And I look and see it's my son. But as I'm turning back to the individual I was talking to, I noticed that my son's eyes were black. My son come up the stairs like two or three minutes later. And so the two of us slept in Rita's room on bead bag chairs at the time. And all night long, all we heard was metal chairs and tables being across the floor all night long we would just doze off and something would move it was it was nuts individual that got scratched he was standing right next to me quite a first time experience because i'd never i'd never seen anything like that develop right before my eyes he says it's burning so raised the shirt up and they were materializing right before our eyes the house don't mind calling you out walked in the door i felt like i was being rushed by a group of people that didn't want me here walked into the front room. I was actually scared. And this house had never done that to me before. Turned to Hope and I said, I've got to walk out of here. It was um, a very frightening experience. As soon as I walked out, I just, I felt like a, there was something had come over me and got in the car and I said, we got to go back. We made whatever it was stay here. Because it was, uh, it was pretty tough for me. Yeah, but after we got that done, we made it stay. And so do you think whatever was affecting you last night was trying to attach itself to you? Oh, I don't have no doubt. Yeah, I'd never experienced that before. Yeah, it was a very negative, negative feeling. It, it came on quick. And as soon as I walked in the door, it was there. Yeah. She wasn't allowed to talk to her friends and family. Friends and family wasn't allowed to come over and talk to her. When he went to work, she had to stay in this room. And I actually got her story from her sister. The history that you know, you've got first-hand reports from... Yes, it's factual. It's not really anything made up. It's from people that have experienced everything here, growing up or otherwise, or people have hit us up on Facebook. And in this case, it was her actual sister that gave us the story. This is where Monica put the balls over by the stairway, supposedly. She said one of our investigators was three feet away, and it shattered. So it's the one back here in the corner. It's definitely a different feeling up here. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where Deb, uh, January 1st, 1992, he was getting weapons and things out of the house. She was in a good state of mind. Relationship was over. She was going back to the ex. He was going through the house, started to come down, realized he had more guns and ammo put in other places. He was getting everything out of the house across the street to another building. And so he thinks that when he started to come down, probably when she kicked the stool out from underneath her, but he went back upstairs because he remembered other things so when he finally made his way down here um, she was already gone the certificate says it's accidental so what you believe by the time Debbie came, there's enough other things in the house I think she could have had spiritual guidance to help her I don't think that's anything she did on necessarily her own free will I mean, she came from a really rough background anyway so I feel like she was pretty tough and could handle anything that was thrown at her. And you know where she did it at? Right here. 
so there's a metal pipe and then it's PVC so previous homeowners said it was right in front of the window the laughter the scratch then black mists that come in that all comes in down here it had us back to back in a circle and it was just like this black mist was just going around and around and around the laugh right here where we're both standing as well as the individual that got scratched is sitting where hope is though it happened twice the second time it came up i could almost see an image of a uh, face it dissipated so quickly that and you could feel the pressure here is our number you're going to need this and we've actually had i think three or four yeah. teams say we almost called you it actually took us a long time to get communication with deb there was almost a more powerful force or entity and it wouldn't allow us to talk and communicate with her. It would, she would start to communicate with us, and then you could just tell the change in vibe and just. We'll hear uh, a door slam really hard, kind of rattles your chain a little bit. <laughs> it's not a great neighbor neighborhood, so sometimes if we hear a real loud noise, we're like, all right, you guys stay here, let us clear the house, just to make sure, yeah. because it's not a good neighborhood. Okay, so we're going to start right here. This is the main level. We're going to start in the living room. And this house has got like a very creepy, heavy vibe to it. Yeah, just when we was, uh, sat, we was upstairs setting up, it sounded like something got thrown down here. You ever get into a place and you're almost afraid to ask questions? Yeah, I thought I just heard a voice. My name is Josh. This is my brother, Sean. We came here tonight to talk to you. We know a lot of bad things have happened here. Basement. That was like the entryway. Was that you? Did you just hear that? Oh, is somebody talking? Who was that? Is that holy? Rita, we know your bedroom is right back there, and that you were treated really bad. We're two nice guys. And we'll treat you good. This room's definitely freaking cold. Rita, were you mistreated? We got a device here that's full of energy. If you come over and touch it, Can you do that for me? And we do have alarms upstairs where the mirror room is, where all the witchcraft stuff was done. And then we got alarms in the basement. I'm not sure if it was my eyes playing tricks on me, but I thought it seemed like a black shadow down by the bottom of that window, so. Did you just hear that? Sometimes it's like you hear walking. That's not like something dragging. Are there any negative spirits inside this house? We want you to come forward and talk to us. We are going to, at some point tonight, come in here individually by ourselves. Right now we're just kind of testing out the house to see how bad it can be before we put ourselves in that position because it could be dangerous coming in here by yourself. Yeah, especially if something's going to attach itself to you. If you're around any of our alarms, can you set them off? I think we kind of had different feelings coming into this house. Not knowing what to expect. 
you give me a name, let me know who I'm going to be talking to. Mr. Davis, are you here with us? Did this door shut on us? I don't remember shutting that door. Huh. I have to look back at the video and see if that door shut on us. Yeah, I'm sure though. I heard there was a lot of witchcraft in this house. I heard you like to shut doors and hit them and move stuff. You give us a sign, let us know somebody's here. Let's just keep moving to an area that feels creepy. Footsteps upstairs. Okay, we're gonna leave the door open. Do not close it on us. Dad, are you down here with us? Mm -hmm. Was that you? Dad, my name's Sean. We just want to talk to you. I'm sorry how you passed away. I'm sorry for what you had to go through when you was a child. You can walk up and touch one of us. Does it make you upset where they buried your body? You want to talk about your dad? Oh, that was loud. Oh, how was that? I was upstairs. You don't want to talk about your dad? I heard he wasn't very nice to you. If there's any spirits down here that want to communicate with us, now's the time to do it. We're going to be here for a while. So when you feel comfortable, you come out and talk to us. Just keep going. There's somebody in here. I was out there with you, wasn't it? It was right above us. I heard somebody in this house likes to hurt people. Likes to scratch them and pull their hair. Who is that? I hear you, but you need to come down here. Walking. Mm -hmm. It's crazy we come down here and now we hear the stuff walking up there. Is that you walking? Whoa, what the hell was that? That was right freaking behind me. Walking? Whoa. What the hell was that? Are you throwing stuff at Josh? What are you throwing? You trying to hurt one of us? Whoa. Go in there. Go. Whoa. I heard you again. Where are you at? Stop hiding. Gosh, what is in here again? This is just an open room. Okay, you're starting to come talk to us or make noises. Let us hear you. Thank you. But now I, want, I need to know who I'm talking to. What the hell was that? What'd you hear? It's like a male exhaled real loud. It was back here in that room he just came from. Yeah, it could be a female, because remember, she hung herself down here. Right beside you. Right, yeah. Who Josh is here? Do you not like all these people coming into this house? Yeah, I just got like really cold right here. I mean really cold. Are you by me? Come up to me. 
I hear you. Come on, we got alarms and everything. You can even move these chairs. I heard you're really strong. Jesus criminy. I know it just scared me. We know that you committed suicide down here. And you hung yourself off these pipes right here. What the hell was that? That was a girl scream. That's what I thought. Who just screamed? Dad, was that you? Is your soul trapped here? I think I just heard a female. So I heard like, something right before you started talking. But the female, Josh, I swear I heard a female and it said yes. Dad, did something inside this house make you commit? I wonder what came first, the um, witchcraft stuff? Because remember, she said that she thinks the, the spirits kind of had a, something to do with it. Probably would make sense because she's still alive in Florida, the one that did the witchcraft, right? Monica? Yeah. And then Deb would, is, would have been... Are you walking upstairs? Who are you? Well, shh, shh. Sorry, it's her door move. You know what was crazy, though? When you said Monica, maybe they remember her name. Because if she brought some of them here, I mean, so definitely right now the basement is like super creepy. Let's go to the area where they did the um, witchcraft, where the Ouija board and stuff is, and the mirrors. See how that area feels. I mean, to me, that area felt the creepiest during the day. Okay, we're getting ready to come upstairs where Monica did the witchcraft, where she summons the spirits inside this house. This area up here is definitely freaking creepy. Yeah. Yeah, this area is definitely freaking creepy. Yeah, it's definitely a different vibe. So this is the room where she did all the witchcraft, where she used mirrors, all kinds of stuff to summon spirits inside this house. Hey, Josh, did you notice that walking through here? How, like when you got in the middle, towards the middle, how cold it was mm -hmm. in that hallway? Yeah, the weird thing is, this upstairs is twice as cold as what that basement was. But it, to me, though, it's still weird, though, how you get uh, different temperatures in the, uh, up here compared to that hallway in here. It felt like I walked through a spirit. Are you one of the spirits that were summoned inside this house? We want you to come forward and talk to us. Let us know that you're here. We know that you've attacked other investigators and that you like communicating with people. Can you set one of our alarms off? They said that you set off EMF detectors and REM pods. Who was that? What the hell was that? Go back that way. Sounds like somebody can scream. Earlier we used a device when we was outside the house and it said Satan. Is the portal still open in this house that Monica did? 
Does the spirits here still affect Monica? What would you do if she came back here? She's already beside you. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa. Stop, stop. Would you just move in that door? Do you not want us to leave? Yeah, I swear I just seen that door move and you could hurt it like it went you know. Can you do that again for me? We'll stay up here a little longer. Shut that door. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs then. If you're down in the basement, can you walk up the steps? We know you're here. <gasps> Which one? Where's the alarm come from? Oh, did you hear that? set my alarm off. I can't tell if it was upstairs or downstairs, but I heard a, like something hit a pipe or something down here. I heard you don't like the doors shut, so we're trying to be respectful and leave them open for you. Did you just hear that? Oh, I keep hearing like something dragging. And maybe there's an alarm upstairs, I don't know. But I heard a loud fucking bang down here. Yeah, we'll get stuff set up. You stay down here, I'll go upstairs. <gasps> you don't want us to split up? I don't blame you. <laughs> but if it was one downstairs, it would have been a lot louder, so it had to be upstairs, so finally. Just hear that. Why would you hear something dragging for? Can you set the music box off again, please? Set it off and we won't come upstairs. So right now Sean's in the basement. We're just hearing loud thumping up here. I'm heading up to the second floor where she did the uh, witchcraft. I'm down here in the basement where Deb came down here in just two rooms over, which is really sad because everything she went through as a child. Okay, so I'm up on the second floor. This is the area that Monica did the witchcraft. You can see the mirrors that she used to summon the spirits inside this house. Sean and I decided to split up. Probably not the smartest idea. Holy. Okay, that was loud. That was definitely walking upstairs. And that's one thing, you know, they did make shoes. Oh, oh that's really loud. Dad, are you down here with me? I got a device here that can help you talk to me. Even if it ain't you and there's any other spirits that want to talk to me, use this and it'll say words, okay? Press. Press what? Movie. Did you like going to the movies or watching stuff? Not. Not. You didn't like movies? In here. Where are you at? And I said, I'm here. So is it Deb? Or am I talking to you? Flashlight. You know, they had a, something happen to a flashlight. 
I don't have a flashlight. We know that a woman named Monica summons several spirits inside this house. Use those mirrors to open portals. Are you up here with me? <gasps> no way. You know what a phone is? Let's see. You see it? Okay. Yeah, that's what's in my hand. People back in the 1800s or the early 1900s just when stuff started changing like technology. Scratch. Scratch? Please don't scratch me. I don't, Leave me alone. Do you not like me being down here? Did you try attaching yourself to people that come inside this house? Oh. <gasps> they said that you don't like it when people leave. Can you move away from my alarm? They said that you get angry when people leave. Holy Are you upstairs? That was loud. Cemetery. If it is Deb I'm talking to, she's buried beside her dad. Deb, do I hear you upstairs? Uncle. Did your uncle do something bad? Deb, can you please tell me your uncle's name? Lights. Something's be over there in the corner. Somebody down here? I heard you. There's plastic behind me, and I swear that's what it sounded like. It sounded like something stepping on the plastic. It feels like it got a lot darker in here. Okay, so in here by myself, the alarm just went off. You can see the mirrors are behind me. Some of these mirrors mysteriously showed back up at the house when they were taken to a river and busted. Are you still here with me? Whoever's here. In front of you. Oh. It's in front of me. Who's in front of me? Oh man, I got goosebumps everywhere. Please don't scratch me though, okay? You can just talk to me. You're not allowed to leave with me or nothing. You gotta stay here. But I just wanna talk, okay? Can you tell me how old you was when you died? James. James? Who's James? Is that your uncle? Did James do something to you? something. I think it was a voice. Okay, if you're in this room, can you go out to the other room and set my alarm off? Do you know where Josh is? Oh, I just heard something. I swear that was freaking over there. Okay, I just heard you. you in here. Okay, I keep hearing you. If you was in front of me over there, come over here. Walk. Stand here beside me. Man, I got, I'm like freaking freezing right now. 
I heard something loud out here, and now I'm like, I mean, I am freaking freezing. I just heard something. Why? Because I have no idea. I'm just. I keep. Is that you? I'm telling you, I got. Like, I came over here and it is so much freaking colder than over there in that other room. Why'd you say you wanted to scratch somebody? Or did you already scratch them? Which? Witch. Who's a witch? Somebody did witchcraft upstairs. Can you tell me who did that? Hi, EMF. Are you close to me? I just got a high EMF spike. Is her spirit in this? does it work? You just come close, look. Oh, Jesus Christ, Now you know how both of them work. Can you do that? Closer. Now you need to go closer to that alarm. 16. Who's 16? Derek. Whoa. Who's Derek? Derek, did somebody summons you inside this house? What is your name? Okay, I'm going to set this balloon right here next to me. <gasps> Alarm's going off. Why, every time I try to leave, you set the alarm off. You don't want me to leave? Deb, are you down here with me? I heard you. How did you die? How did you die? Are you down in the basement with Sean right now? They said that's one of the things here is when you try leaving, whatever's inside this house tries to stop you. This up here is so dark. Can you move the Ouija board? I'm not going to touch it. Okay, I'm gonna leave all my cameras up here recording. Got alarms. Sean, I'm coming down. Hi. Oh, there's fucking footsteps up here. I mean, some of them was freaking loud above me. But then I heard something step on that plastic. Like I freaking told you it was gonna freaking happen. But then I heard something loud out here. So I came out here, and then it's like it all stopped. My name is Josh. This is Sean. We are here to communicate with you. Deb, we know that you committed suicide down here. Why did you kill yourself? My name is Josh. This is Sean. We are here to communicate with you. Deb, we know that you committed suicide down here. Why did you kill yourself? We are here to communicate with you. 
Deb, we know that you committed suicide down here. Why did you kill yourself? On the ghost tube, it came across and goes, Doris shot. Who is Doris? And was Doris shot? Who is Doris? And was Doris shot? Every time I tried leaving the second floor, my alarms would go off. Are you serious? See, these alarms never went off. Oh, it did say witch. The ghost tube did. Did it? Yeah, when I was right in this room. And then, oh, it said scratch, too. I was like, please don't scratch me. I'll tell you what, though. The footsteps that you hear upstairs is freaking nuts. I mean, I'm talking some of them was loud. But then I was thinking, they made shoes. They had a shoe company. Could that be like them testing out a new shoe or something like that? Mm-hmm. <gasps> My camera just went dead. I just, that literally was just. Like halfway full. Or something turned it off. Look. It's got two bars. Something just shut my camera off. Did you just shut my camera off? They said that you don't like being filmed. We're going to film you anyhow. Whoa. That was right above me. Sean's all the way up on the second floor. Is there a portal up here? That's letting spirits come and go? Here. Where? The mirror? Are you walking back there? Can I see you? Hit something for me. When I was upstairs, I think something touched the side of my face. Who are you? Can you touch me and let me know what, where you're at? Holy Did you just touch me? Definitely keep hearing stuff down here. If you walk behind me, I can see you. They said that you scratched somebody down here. Are you able to scratch me? Sounds like something's freaking walking. Why did you come? To talk to you? Or to talk to somebody in this house? Every time somebody comes in this house, like me, and asks questions, they're just trying to find out more answers about the afterlife. Is Ray the guy that you like? Makes you more active? Definitely, I think the upstairs with the mirrors and stuff is like the area that's the darkest, I think. I want to take the SLS camera up there and see if we get anything. Inside. Inside what? This room? Hung. Hung. Now we're getting somewhere. Because Deb was down in the basement. She hung herself. Do you know that? That was loud. I'm trying to watch the camera behind me because I can see. If something walks past that. I'm just gonna be quiet for a second. Steps.
Okay, this is your last chance. If somebody summons you inside this house, do something now. Show me how powerful you are. <gasps> Whoa, that was freaking loud. That was right above me. Do you know who Deb? Oh. Is that a bad subject? You don't like that? It's freaking F F SB7's going off. I don't know if something just went through there or if that was just my eyes. Something's definitely off here. I can't quite pinpoint it yet. I feel like the spirits are up to something. Whatever's inside this house is up to something. Set that alarm off again. Let me know that you're still here. Whoever it is. Dead. You dead? Then set my alarm off. Come on, let me know that you're still here. I gotta go up and change out my batteries. Seven's going nuts. Is it? Yeah, come here. But it's like exactly what you said. You was getting ready to leave and go downstairs. It said hung on the ghost tube. Hmm. So I go, is this Deb, the one that hung herself downstairs? And the SB7 went off. It seems like when I bring up Deb, I'm getting stuff. When you're down in the basement, it's like I can hear walking constantly. I heard walking down there. Who is in here with us? Who just said leave? Where is the portal at inside this house? Are you a human spirit? Yes. yes. What is your name? Where did you come from? Did you scratch somebody that was inside this house? You, you can come in here with us. You definitely get more female voices in this house than male voices. Oh, yeah. Well, you gotta think the three that we know of is female. Are you from the Davies family? Were you the one hiding under the basement steps? Can you move the Ouija board? That's freaking much. Well, if you can, then do it for me. Knock that thing off the board. What is in front of us? I stuck that on a Ouija board that's going off. Yeah. Are you setting our rim pot off? That's twice tonight we've had two doors open. 
if we caught the one in there when we first started? Because I know none of us, we didn't close that door. I think that door closed behind us and we didn't wreck it, but I had a camera facing that one too. So I want to see if that door opens by itself. There's no way that door would open by itself. We So even partially open, it doesn't open. No. Can you tell me who used to make shoes here? Davies. <gasps> Davies. We're at the Davies oh, house. And what did I just ask? Shoes. The Davies used to make shoes inside this house. That's. That was uh, their business. Megan. Megan. I'm not sure about her, Megan. Was it Megan, the girl that was a that they thought they were in here investigating the other night and they thought somebody broke inside the house. That sounds right. But it wasn't a human, it was the spirits. And they were actually going to call the cops. Yeah, because the one room that they didn't go into, which was, I think, Rita's room, mm -hmm. and they heard really loud banging or something <gasps> in there. That was loud. What was it? Take this. Confined it. Deb was. Or Rita. Rita was confined? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rita, they would not let. Rita, her husband was abusive. And he Get would. Out. And he would confine her back in that bedroom. We're not getting out. We're here to talk to you. Whoa. What was that? Sound like, I don't know where in the hell it was coming from. Sound like freaking female again. Who's the female that we just heard? You closed that door on us earlier. Can you close it again? Okay, we're coming down, Deb. I really like to see you. Okay. You talked to me earlier. Whoever's down in this basement that I kept hearing, come out here. I want to see you. We're going to leave. Oh, you want to talk to us? Dab, that's where you hung yourself. Can you go stand over there? Did you hear that? Mm hmm. It sounded like something getting turned again. Whoa, baby. Got something right there. Holy. Close, too. Where'd you go? Wow, that was freaking. Josh, right, right there. I see it. That's right where she got hung. It looks like a freaking person too. Look at that, Dad. If that is you, can you do something? Let me know. Come near me. Can you sit down? I see you. Can you hit something? Tell me you just heard that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pretty sure I just heard you talking. Did you? Where'd you go? Oh. Who just? Pressed on this. Can you hit something really hard and let us know that you can see in and danger. hear us? In danger? Who's in danger? Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys for Thanks. tuning in tonight. Everybody have a great weekend. And we will see you Friday. Peace out. Paranormal Nightmare.